All right, guys, so we got our potatoes. And we are gonna just drizzle these with some olive oil. Doesn't have to be much. And I have my oven preheated to 375. And you guys are in for a treat today. So we're gonna put these in the oven for about 45 minutes or so and let these cook. And I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, we got our potatoes fresh out the oven. So I'm just gonna use this small bowl to mash these a little bit. There we go. Working here. You know, potatoes don't grow quickly, so it's so odd for this tin I got here. All right. Got that mash there. The olive oil made it slippery. These are going to get a little bit more cook once we get done doing what we're doing here. So I got some melted butter and I'm going to add some garlic. I'm going to add a little bit of that there. Tony's. Just a tad bit. bit of pepper All right. mix here you can also add like parsley things like that as well if you like and then I'm just gonna give this a nice drizzle give your potato a nice flavor and seasoning Look at that. Look at that. and smells delicious now we have the star of the show now I did pre-cook my steak and you want to pre-cook it at least a little bit um, like I said we are gonna put this back in the oven so you want to undercook your steak prior to this step. And I also let mine sit a little bit. All right. And I also made some bouillonnaise sauce. Been sitting for a second. And then we're just gonna drizzle that over the top there. You can be generous with your bouillonnaise sauce. Also use like cashew sauce or just gravy from the steak you made if you make it on the stove but I want to be fancy today for y'all show y'all my skills Everything is already cooked for the most part. Our 
steak needs a little while longer, but that's about it. Then we're gonna cut some chives. I might have asked y'all this before, but what's the difference between chives and green onions? If anybody knows, please give me an answer in the comments. I think one is just smaller, right, Ryan? I think so. It's like harder, right? Texture. Is it? I don't know. I would say because I use green onions a lot, um, and I would say the texture is about the same. It just feels smaller to me. I wonder. If the taste isn't different either. So yeah, chives is just uh, green onions on a diet. Unless I'm wrong, y'all, please tell me if there's a different flavor And then because we can, and it's our business, we are going to add some cheese. This step is definitely optional, but what would it be without it? Oh, this is gonna be delicious. And I already have my oven preheated from when I cooked the potatoes. So we're just gonna pop that back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. And we'll see you guys in a few. Oh guys, fresh out of the oven. Look at that. Oh, I am so excited about this. This is gonna be great. I'm just gonna scoop one out here plate look at that we're just gonna give this a try uh oh <laughs> got a little bit of potato here got my bolognese sauce Mm. So delicious. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm hmm. Ryan, you got to say something. This is so good. That sauce and the cheese. Perfect. 